Big Mace, what is on your mind this week? I, <clears throat> man, I've been really, really, really struggling with it uh, lately. Um, but we uh, had an accumulative uh, decision that was made this week on the job site. And it, it was like, it was a, it was a no brainer because we've really been dealing with some traffic issues and I hate to say it and I, it's, I know it's a bold statement to say, <clears throat> but I do believe that, um, I think there should be a, I should, I think there should be an age mm. that is set by someone that's smarter or wiser than me that would require people when they reach said age to take a mandatory hands-on driving. Test. Oh, I can support this. I thought you were going to say you just can't drive because you're eight. No, no negative, negative, negatory, negatory. Like, are you talking about for our older citizens? Yes, a hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Like, I don't know if like 70 needs to be the age or hell. Go a little bit higher because Papa Frank is. Well, I'm, but no, Papa Frank would be fine. He would pass with flying. But colors. there are probably some 70 year olds that wouldn't. I know there aren't. There's. There's, There's probably, a shit ton of 70 year olds that wouldn't. I and I'm not, could. this is not a stab at 70 year old people because I'm there's shit tons of people that I know that are 70 years old that are completely fine. Did you they, see that? They could probably go drive a NASCAR race tomorrow if they had to. So, but, so tell us what happened. Oh my God, Casey crane necking. Uh, uh, oh, I driving. That. Well, yeah, me too. But like the utter disregard for traffic flow signage mm. like road closed for example oh a garg it's it's like there is a minimum size that a Did sign you say gargantuan yeah garg- i feel like i haven't heard that word in a long time and i'm really happy yeah it was a gargantuan sign i was gonna say this gargantuous yeah okay but uh like <clears throat> depending on the speed of the the average speed of traffic flow on this like on said roadway determines on how big the road mm. signage has to be you gotta see it from farther oh. away yeah so like that's long. why if you ever go down the interstate and like stop to piss yeah you see those signs on the interstate and they're size. you're huge yeah mm. right good size. Yeah. so like our road signs in, in town are a lot smaller like on the side streets the i don't know i i'm not factually prepared it's okay yeah, there's this. probably a percentage to distance <laughs> average yeah, stopping right but like these rate. signs that we use and i'm just gonna throw this number out there and i don't know if it's true or not but i'm gonna say they're probably like a four by four square that's too big they're probably like a three by three square mm-hmm. but they're diamond shaped mm-hmm. right and they say road closed and they're bright reflective orange with black lettering mm-hmm. yeah and like we've set those up and you always set the road close on the the driving lane of yeah, the so of you can the go lane around that, it if you, you like live we there. They, they can get out. Yeah. Or if you can go in if you live there. But you can go in if you live there. So we go cone sign cone open lane cone. But the signs always in the driving lane. So you have to go left of center. Mm-hmm. To go around the road close yeah. sign to yeah. enter our work area. Yes. Concrete trucks, seven people, or, you know, seven guys on a crew were raking concrete. I almost stuck my float pole through the window of a car the other day. Now, I'm, what is a float pole? Like I'm floating concrete. <clears throat> like oh, the float, bull float. The bull float. Yeah, you're floating. Okay. Got a big pole because yeah, we're yeah, doing yeah. a bigger driveway. Yeah. And it's like some 80-some-year-old 80, 80 some year old man, and he's just like <laughs> looking at me, and I'm getting ready to f- pull Q his windshield out. You know what? It's like you <laughs> literally had to drive around the sign, <sighs> but all they see is this really long, straight stretch of road with only a handful of guys down there and an open lane. You know, and it's like, but I don't know, man. So it do just you, blows us away. So do you think it is... People ignoring the signage to be nosy to see what's going on. A hundred percent. That's that's definitely part of it. Because that's yes. what I was wondering yes. if it's people being nosy. Yes. See yeah. what's going on. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or to your point, it's people that are just 
I can get through and I'm going to go through. <laughs> well, okay. So this is, for example, this is another instance in this. We've been on Chestnut Street for a long time. I've been watching the progress yeah, on my drive to work. We've been doing a lot of, we were. We we're out on Chestnut. Between. Kind of next to the event center. Between 14th and uh, 17th, that whole hill. <clears throat> so you take the bypass. Oh, yeah. You have to take the bypass all the time for it to be work, worthwhile. Yep. And honestly, when I go through at five. Between four forty five and five fifteen, there's, there's not never a, soul a train. Out there. But, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, it's, I'm still sleeping for two more hours. But the thing is, is look, so like, okay, we had finished up, and we were leaving the job, and we were going to go up to said road close sign. We are traveling southbound on on this street, and we have entered our road closed zone right okay so you got cone sign cone in this lane yeah and then you got an opening to get out right you're still in your lane like you're going south yeah and then you know you're okay yeah i'm sitting in that gap between cones with my left turn signal on there's a turn lane for this this road to be able to turn onto the the street that is closed, but we have cones put up there to kind of block it off to where they cannot enter the turn lane. Like we have tapered yeah. them into kind of like what happens on Fourth Street when exactly. they set up. <clears throat> exactly. So the, we have tapered thanks. them into the normal flow of traffic lane. This guy, elderly gentleman, comes. The wrong way, left of center around the turn lane taper, and is now sitting facing eastbound in a westbound lane trying to turn north on a road that is closed. Hmm. And then I'm sitting in the driver's seat in the southbound lane of, this, of the service truck, and I'm like, no, you got to keep going. So I'm motioning him. You have to keep going. Like, you got to keep going. And then he's, he is like, basically mother me with his hand. Like, no, I want to go that way. And I'm like, I'm pointing at the road closed sign. Like, no, the road is closed. At this point, he puts his right foot off of the brake and onto the gas ramps up onto the sidewalk into the curb <laughs> goes out into the grass that we had just fixed in the event center yard like that whole bank that we tapered down and then does mock jesus down the branch he but he's scared to death to get on the road so he rides the sidewalk all the way down <laughs> to the dentist office oh and geez. we're all sitting in the truck looking at each other like are you are you seeing this like what what is going like this is wild but like I don't know, like I think this it, it, as I snowball and, and segue back to my uh, you know original statement. That doesn't sound like a vision problem. That just no, sounds like a crotchety old yes, man. That's so. That's what I'm saying. So there, there, there becomes this fine line of um, <sighs> I've already reached my f word limit for the show. But like I, it's like they they, they don't give two shits. You know, there we go. Like their their give a shit is it's gone. Their meter is gone. They're gone. Like yeah. they, I don't but care. I feel like maybe they've earned it. You don't know. Oh That's yeah, they've there. earned. There are some no, that have earned it. Yeah, like there if you're a cop eight. or an, an ambulance driver yeah. or the mailman <laughs> or maybe someone that lives in this area. Yeah. But if there's more than one way to get to the dentist office, uh, okay, then you should probably go to the way that's not closed. Yeah. You know what I mean? But. I don't know. We what just, kind of vehicle was? Oh, it? like a little Ford Escape, little, <laughs> little just a, like a little uh, mammal cruiser. You know what I mean? I don't know, but it, it, it's it's just been a wild uh, a wild I remember, week with drivers uh, when they were pouring. So I think Culver's was open in Jasper. Yeah, but they were still pouring concrete on like the transition from the the parking lot to the roadway. The aprons, yeah. Okay, there you go. The apron, yeah. And uh, there was like a Oldsmobile <laughs> hung know, up in the concrete, maybe a bunch, yeah, like yes! in the wet concrete. Yes! It's like they went, okay, uh -oh. I was okay. Like, uh -oh. So, so but it wasn't an old person, you could tell it was just, I don't oh, know, oh, yeah. She was so, drunk so or, there, so there, where we're at on, on this section of street where we're at, there's a church with two driveways, 
And then there's a dentist office with one driveway. <clears throat> the church we had just, which was like a, I think that was like a 12, a 12 yard pour just in one driveway. That's a pretty good size. So it's a, it a pretty wide driveway, you know, one, one big shot. In a, in a concrete truck, it's only like four yards? Nine. Nine. Nine, yeah. nine and a half. I think they could do a max of 10, but they don't no, max. They it. only haul nine and a half. So, so anyway, we, we, we get this driveway all done and then like the road is closed, but like, mm. like for local traffic, they can still come in and go to their houses and things like that. Right. Yeah. Well, the dentist is highly, you know, that we could not close the dentist completely off. So we, we had to pour his driveway in halves. We poured the uh, first one yeah, and then rocked the other one back and then let that cure out for seven days. And then we swapped it over to the new and then poured the other half. But anyway, we had just got done, um, screeting the concrete off on the driveway getting ready to start floating it. And one of the guys is down on the, on the edge, like he's edging, you know, getting, mm -hmm. getting your rough edge in. And here comes Papa <laughs> wanting to go to the dentist and he's getting ready to turn into the church, into the wet, but we, cause we hadn't put our cones back up. You know what I mean? So he's getting ready to just hang a right, just right in that shit, you know? And we're <laughs> like, no, oh, <laughs> screaming. People are running, throwing cones and shit. <laughs> And finally he goes, hot damn. I thought I was going in the dentist. And we're like, no, you about got stuck in six inches of wet concrete here, pal. Oh, but man. I just, I don't know. We, we, um, you know, like some of them wave at you. You know what I mean? Like we always give them the, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? What the what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? The road's closed. What are you doing? And they're all like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you know my grandson. Yeah, like uh, I think you know him. You know, or it, it's just one of those things where, like, it, a lot of times, the like the language barrier too for for some of the, uh, the his, old people. The, well, no, not the old people, <laughs> but like the Hispanic the Hispanic drivers in town, or because there's a strong likelihood oh, they may yeah, not have a driver's not license. a clue. And then, like you know, we're, we got to not. Luckily, we have our uh, interpreter now that can like tell them what we need. Like if we need to move their cars off the street or something, you know, like knock on their door and they're like, "Hey, we need to move your car," and they're like, ha, "Yes, <laughs> yes." You know what I mean? Like no clue. You come back to the truck. Hey, they're gonna move it. No idea. <laughs> no clue. Couldn't tell you, man. I mean, they no idea. Nice folks, though. Yeah, good, good <laughs> folks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we had a instance, we were playing golf, uh, at McDonald's in Evansville, mm -hmm. the little course there yeah, off at of McDonald's Morgan it's, Avenue. Yeah. It's a McDonald's McDonald's. Course, yeah. it's, like, a, it's, it's, it's what it's called. Not, there's not like a restaurant of yeah. McDonald's. There's yeah. not a burger joint at yeah. the golf course. It's yeah. It's, it's, it's just McDonald's yeah, right it's, across it's there kind from of the local Ra course. Raven tire. Like yeah. right there on, the it's left. on, uh, it's on Morgan Avenue. Pass buds down the way. Just to go. Is that Morgan? Oh. Or yeah, yeah that's Morgan. Morgan. Mm -hmm. So on Morgan Avenue, and there's a uh, <coughs> there's a fairway, and I'm trying to think because you kind of teed off, and then there was two and three, and maybe this was four or three, but we were in college, and we'd go there and play. It was cheap. It was cheap oh, to yeah. play, and we were standing there getting ready to tee off, and one of my buddy goes, "Don't swing, don't swing, don't swing," and I was like, "What are you talking?" And I look up, and there's an old lady coming down the fairway. In her car. And her <laughs> Cutlass Classic. <laughs> and we're standing there, the tee box, dumbfounded. And the lady rolls her window down. Still had the automatic crank. Like Which you see way her. to the pharmacy? No. <laughs> that's it. She goes, she, she goes, what? Did I miss the turn for Van Avenue? Oh, boy. <laughs> and we look at each other. We're like, it's back that way. And she was like, how do I get out of here? And we're like, the parking lot's right behind us. Yeah. And that lady rolls up her window. <laughs> just keeps on trucking. Just doesn't miss a beat. I mean, she drove down the middle of the In my of head, fairway. as soon as the window goes up, she pushes play on like some Van Halen or something. <laughs> <laughs> Rips it out. My mom would probably, she'll, she'll get a kick out of this. But uh, so Grandpa Marvin, my mom's dad. Uh, he put the ice machine through the front built from through the wall of the building at more for less one time with the old crown Vic and then wild bill. Uh, that was, so, so here, here is the gloom and doom of this topic, right? It was a sad, sad day 
first. When Wild Bill got his wings clipped. Yeah. When, when my old man finally had to break down and tell Grandpa, like, hey, you're done. Yeah. You know, and we took the keys, and then the son of a bitch found a spare. <laughs> You know what I mean? Or, or called over to Ruxers, I need a key to a 95 F-150 now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then finally, it like we had to take the truck to my house. Yeah, it sat down there for a while. Yeah, we had to get it out of there, but you know, but... It was like time. The, it was time. He was going to... He was going to... But... Inadvertently hurt somebody. What The advancements in uh, technology... That's yeah, I'm not, not even putting true. my blind grandpa on a Tesla. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fortunately, since we're rural folk, yes. Like if you get to where you got to take Papa Mace's keys someday. Oh, good grief! You can take the truck and park a golf cart there. Yeah, or a no, side bike. Yeah. Like you can still get around town, so old that's, man. You just can't go ninety-five miles. So an that's hour. what another. Um, it would have been my dad's. Uh, my dad's uncle <clears throat> before he passed away. Like he went like just bat blind. Like he was mm. blind as shit. Real close talker. Cl- closer talker than. Than while Bill was. Oh. And he, he had to, yeah, he got no no cars for him no more. It was just a, a side-by-side, you know, so. I don't know. It's a tough call, but uh, I think I'm, it's, I think, I think there should be some time uh, that it, 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 it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to put the burden on your family member. It should just be like a blanket deal. Like, yeah. yep, you failed, you yeah. know. I'm surprised but, that HPD or local sheriff's department doesn't help you guys out a little bit they do a lot like we call them a lot like when we have several issues where like people just don't give a shit what we're doing yeah i mean yeah we and we have yes 100 percent. they 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 have helped us numerous times yeah with traffic control and uh people neglecting signs and everything like that so yeah that's uh (laughs) i was i got thinking about the other day i was talking about you actually uh to somebody at work that was considering getting motorcycle licensed up you know yeah i was like oh yeah had a buddy do it recently did the thing with a bait and uh so question one is that required no no okay i knew it wasn't when i got mine like Mm -hmm. you could just go do it uh and i said you know i think doing it again i would do that hands down i would have um but so even now i've had my license my motorcycle license since 2008 maybe so I took that test way back then in eight or nine, I guess, to kind of depend on what time of year it was. And um, like I imagine you're much sharper on it than I am now from because I was drinking real heavy back then. Uh, <laughs> real heavy. And then after that, there was a mo- moment in time where I was drinking heavier than that. Uh, so I'm sure I forgot all the important stuff. But I was back to my point. It's like, man, yeah, I'll, I, that's why I didn't get rid of my endorsement. Because I didn't want to have to take the test again. As long yeah. as I keep it on there, I could be I was thinking when you were talking, I could be ninety two and still have my motorcycle endorsement. I don't even be able to stand up. That's what I'm saying. So that, I, yeah, it's there's... the same it's the same deal here. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Just like your CDL. Like I could be hundred and five. Well, there's no way I'll make it that far. Yes, but, you will, buddy. But like I mean, you could be older this podcast than podcast money. We are gonna buy the blood from the youth from that island. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, God. <laughs> we could be this Catch guy's in. Yeah, he's all in. He's already got it, probably. But like I could you could be older than dirt and then and, and, and like somebody, hey, you still got your CDL? My boy needs a feller to haul a load of corn out there. Yeah. Hell, I'll drive that son of a bitch. You know what I mean? And then just can't get into the cab. No. Like, yeah. Well, you know, I don't and know. that's what, and I'll say. The well, two- CD, now let me rephrase that. I, I recant that. CDLs are a lot different because you have to go to. Health check. Yeah. And I go every year because of. Uh, Your CPAP. Sleep apnea. Yeah. So. I remember being probably 10 at the farm and dad was busy working on tractors or something. And great grandpa Clifford rolled up. Maybe I was eight. Clifford. And, Come here. Uh, <laughs> no, so come here. And I got a quarter for you. I don't and, spend this in one spot. You remember that one? No, but honest to God, put a that quarter. corn poison here, right here. Here, don't yeah. give, that's give, exactly don't how give it was. Anybody your but down at the Abington General Store, a quarter gets you a, a laffy taffy, tootsie rolls, Shit, yeah. and a soda. The Abington General Store. But uh, at any rate, Dad had promised me that he was going to take me home back to my mom's that sunday in, in the dump truck like in the grain truck yeah and that's what i wanted to do and uh he got busy and he's like hey uh grandpa why don't you take the kids back there to their moms and huh he's like yeah well, i told him i'd take the grain truck though and he's like yeah <laughs> 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 him hopping up in there and 
back up. Oh, got to try again to get in the door. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Mike, dude. So I don't even know if he get the clutch in hard. We could talk that. like this for hours. But wh- one more before we, before I go, before we go on. But Wild Bill, so Huntingburg Volunteer Fire Department for like 47 Hell years. Yeah. Like yeah. one, one year, like back in, you know. They served together back yeah, in the day. Yeah, when your dad was on there and, uh, you know, Kit Carson and like. <laughs> the Kisslings and like the, these guys have been on these the old time Pat Bergs. I mean, they've been yeah. on the fire department since the fire department's been the fire department. You know yeah. what I mean? And Wild Bill, I think it was uh, my buddy Jason Beatles was, you know, he was a young strapping fireman, you know, and getting in the, you know, getting on and all this stuff. Well, they had grandpa's truck that he always run was uh, 33, 733. It was an old. Um, you know, I don't even know. It was a Mac, I believe, just a stub nose Mac yeah, fire a cab truck. Over unit yeah, yeah, cab over unit, you know, with a big old regular straight standard shift in that baby. And there wasn't only a few of them that could drive it, you know what I mean? And uh Grandpa Be- Beatles was but grandpa would he could pump a truck like he was a pump guy. He was always the one that was running the truck, you know, for the water and shit. Anyway. Beatles jumps in there and, and uh, he says, Bill, you want me to drive? He said, hell no, I'm going to get in. Let's go. You know, and he said, I didn't make it. He goes, I, never again <laughs> in my life will I ever ride in a fire truck with your grandfather. And I said, oh, no shit. He said, I was white knuckled before we even got out of the damn garage. You know what I mean? But I mean, he just cramming, you know, just cramming gears and getting after it, you know. And then from then on out, you know, they Grandpa just lived on Jackson. Beatles is right there on Van Buren. So, you know, and of course, Grandpa's doing 250 mile an hour down Washington <laughs> Street yeah. to get to the fire department. Yeah. And hell, Beatles would just be getting into the station. They hit the same time and, you know, they'd be going for the same truck. And Gran- Grandpa said, get in, Jason. He said, uh-uh, you get in, old bastard. You know what I mean? And so... I just, I don't know, man. I, everybody's got stories about Mamma and Papa or Grandpa driving. God, I could tell them know. all day. Man. I know, but it's just, uh, they, probably uh, not it's great. A, it's, uh, a, it's, a, it's, it's a scary deal. Content. It's a scary I, deal. I think the BMV, though, requires if you get over a certain age, you have to do an eye exam every yeah. year. Yeah, no, 100%. And then the thing that always like bothered my dad when it come to the CDL stuff, these sons of bitches that drive Ford Focuses every day and then they go buy the 53-foot mm-hmm. uh, motorhome. Yeah. Pulling a Jeep, oh, pulling know, a boat, and they don't have to have pulling CDL. another camper and don't have anything. Yeah. Always, he never understood it. It is right. 